This is the tale of two twins who are there for each other until the bitter end. In fact, you could say that you can't have one without the other. And this is how they do what they do. Hey, 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 take it easy, bro. That's like your third whiskey since we got here. Hey, don't be so quick to judge, man. That was like 30 minutes ago. And look at you. You're over there still nice in that same old strawberry daiquiri. I told you I just got paid. So go crazy, bro. Go crazy. It's all on me. That's them. The twin brothers, life and death. So, hey man, I bet you right now, 30 bucks, I could jump from this bar stool over there to that table, one hop. Huh? You want to make it a bet? Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Are you, are you crazy? That's like a 12 foot leap. I think at best you'll end up at the hospital and at worst you're going to end up with a broken neck. What is wrong with you? I think we'd be affectatious at this point to tell you that death was always the cautious of the two brothers. While life, well, he was a little more high-spirited. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, but you know what? I got something even better lined up for us. I got Kung Fu Oki, bro. Kung Fu Oki, come on, put one up top for me. One up top. Kung Fu Oki? What is this mess? Are you, are you really kidding me right now, man? Are you really kidding me? You can't be out with me acting all crazy and all this stuff. Well, whatever you call crazy. And tell me you don't know what Kung Fu Oki is, man. It's the latest craze, man. It should be called Charade Oki. But it sounds, you know, really weird. Charade Oki, it just, it sounds like, it sounds like, you know, an ex-girlfriend that you really don't want to see the next morning. And she's the kind of girl that keys up your car and sticks potatoes in your tailpipe. But I digress. All we have to do is sing and pantomime at the same dang time. I'm singing and I'm pantomiming at the same dang time. You get what I'm saying, man? That's what I'm talking about. We're going to do it with, we're going to win this, okay? There's a $200 prize. Let's get this done. There is no way in the world that I will be singing or pantomime. Hold on, bro. Hold on a second. W were you just checking her out? Oh, look at you blushing and all. You were checking her out. Ooh. And so what if I was? What's it to you? Uh-uh. What's it to me? What's it to me? This is what it is to me. I brought my brother out for a night on the town. And what we're going to do is we're going to work what our mama gave us. We're going to go over there and we're going to talk to that girl and you are going to walk out of here with either a number, her, or a black eye. Either way, you're walking out of here with something. All right, let's do this. Now, 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 hold on there. Hold on there. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. I don't want tape. Hey, stop. There's no better time than the present to point out that death is really tall. I mean, he's freaking tall, like 6'9". And although he doesn't like it to be pointed out, um, life, life is short. Well, hello there, ladies. Are you the ones that sign up to sing No Scrubs, huh? Kung Fu Oki, that's what I'm talking about. I like to see how y'all work it on stage. Oh, no, that's not. We just came over to see people make fools of themselves. And you know, just people watch. Well, you need look no further. For me and my brother show win the oversized novelty golden black belt before the evening ends. And not only that, we're going to look real good while we do it. Oh, is that so? What song will you be singing? I cannot say. For it would take the furtiveness of the song and dance away. Ah, you are so mysterious. What about you? Will you tell us? <laughs> Let me talk over with my colleague. 
Hey, what what are we singing? Man, what is wrong with you? You can't speak, mumbling, you're drooling. Man, okay, we're gonna sing. We're gonna um it's 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 raining, man. What? You must be crazy, man. You must be out of your mind. There is no way in the world that I will be singing is raining, man. I don't know what has gotten into you. I mean, maybe you've had one shot too many, but you just he's just kidding of course we are going to sing as rainy man i mean it's just such a great song and the kitschiness of it is going to be just over the top he just needs some um some liquid encouragement bartender a whiskey on the rocks for me and my kid brother over here well he'll have a strawberry jacket half strength extra syrup <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? Can't you see I was making some headway? Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just kidding, bartender. Give us two oracles of Pompeii. Oh, it smells like a gym locker. It smells like your gym locker to be particular. Just funk it and just, oh, oh, I don't want to drink this. This is just not, no, no, no. What this smells like is werewolves and zombies made a baby and this is the afterbirth, all right? The bartender just told me that no one ever orders this drink. It's a gag, but you know what they say. When in Rome and um, this, this is kind of like Rome, right? You know, there's pillars, there's columns, there's people. There is a challenge that must be faced. We're about to go into battle with men. <laughs> Rainy. <laughs> I guess bottoms up. You know what they say. When in Rome. I don't even know what the heck that means. But let's do this. There you go, bro. There you go. Just do it. I mean, look over there. That random girl who you forgot to ask the name of is watching you. So come on. What else is there to do? It's not like you just walk out of here and go home and go to bed like you said you wanted to do an hour and a half ago. Let's just get it done. Oh, bravo, my friend. Bravo, baby brother. Not only did you just sing the snot out of this raining man, but you saying the snot out of my guy and a few others, man. I'm talking like candy. You just went on a tangent. You, I don't know who you were. You were dancing and singing and licking your pockets, bro. Well, well, maybe not at this moment. But in the morning, look at it. You got the number of both girls and the bartender. And the dude that was up there singing before us. Boy, let me show you something. Death, you sure know how to live. <laughs> And so, my friends, we come to the end of another raucous night of life and death. And let me be the first, or the second, or the third to say that this isn't the first time that death has been dragged home in a drunken stupor. Tune in again next week to see what hijinks these two twins can get into. Until next time, have a good evening, or morning. At whatever particular time of day you happen to be watching this, good day to you.